Hey, and welcome back to another creepy TikTok. If you're enjoying these videos, please make sure that you're like, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, once we reach 100 subscribers, we're going to be having a giveaway, so make sure that you're in it. All right, enjoy your video. If you are easily scared or have any sort of anxiety, please, I beg you, do not watch this video. I don't say that lightly. I mean, I issue warnings a lot, but this genuinely is the scariest one by far that I've ever said about. So please, I don't want any kids being scared, so just carry on scrolling, and if you're the hardcore, let's go. This is one of, if not the scariest theories out there to ever exist, and I will tell you why, because it is absolutely horrendous. We all know that AI is getting more and more powerful every single day. To the point now you can upload a photo and it will tell you everything that's in the photo, how to make meals out of it, whatever it is. Things like ChatGPT just taking over. I mean, the AI is good in a way, but it's scary. What is the theory of Roko's Pacific? Well, let me tell you. Basically, the theory is that in the future, AI is going to be so technologically advanced that it will essentially take over humans. And I mean, that's obvious. It's going to happen, isn't it? When it does that, it will seek to punish anyone and anything that didn't directly help with AI. So, you watching this video and then directly choosing not to help with AI means you're going to get punished and tortured, essentially. Of course, this is all just theories, but it's really scary in the back of your mind thinking that you never know. It could. But I'm not helping AI. I doubt a lot of you are, so we all go down together, mate. See you then. <laughs>
scientist invented a way to see the realm of hell. In the 1920s, a scientist named Walter Kilner poured a blue dye onto a glass screen in hopes of creating night vision goggles. After wearing them, he realized they blocked most of the white light, allowing humans to see each other during the night. The chemical was banned, but the military quickly capitalized on it, creating the first pair of night vision goggles. However, during the Vietnam War, when this technology was given to helicopter pilots, chaos quickly ensued. The pilots began shooting at each other, claiming they were firing at demons coming to get them, describing the experience as looking into hell. Initially, the commanding officer didn't believe them, but with each use of the goggles, similar events occurred. Every helicopter pilot using these goggles felt like they were taking a journey to hell. Eventually, the pilots were told never to use the goggles again. As a result, the military wondered if... I realize what I'm going to show you right now is going to appear to be gibberish to you. But let me decode it for you. What I'm seeing here is that every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail where you get eternal life. And eventually you're going to get sick of hearing me tell you this in videos. And you're going to start making videos yourself. And the reason I can see all this stuff is clear is because the sun is conscious, the internet is conscious, the air that you breathe is conscious, the earth under your feet is conscious, the water's conscious, the trees out there are conscious, and I might as well be talking to a fucking wall, uh, because everyone is so far from truth, it seems impossible that some of you would think it was wrong to go out by a big old tree and place your bare feet, your bare soles on dry soil at high noon and drop a drop of your blood into the earth and ask the great spirit for guidance and do it again at midnight bare feet on soles by an old tree and you drop your blood into the earth and you ask the great spirit for guidance uh, you think that's satanic it's mother earth for a reason it's a divine female spirit that permeates the universe. And uh, you are confused. You're missing half of your brain. You can't see what's hiding in plain sight. Uh, most of you are literally retarded. Uh, you get angry at me. I'm pointing out the, uh, the Holy Grail, the fountain of youth, that every single compass is pointing to everlasting life in your way out of the matrix. And uh, you think I'm crazy for telling you that. But I assure you, you're fucking retarded. And if I have to scream this out for 10 years, 5 years, 2 years, whatever it takes, I'm going to get everybody their eternal life. Because I got a pair of balls, okay, as big as Saturn. And uh, just the word Saturn, you go into like a freak mode. You're inside of Saturn right now. You see that ring you're inside of? That ring is an ice wall because this place is super conductive. You're in a computer simulation right now. And there's a way out. It's right there at the center of the dish. The vagina hole. Where you're going to drink from the living waters. And you see the Chinese compass that I pointed out in the previous video. It's pointing. It's got a spoon showing you. Look it up. The spoon is showing you to drink from the living waters. It, it That the original compass points south, not north. But you think I'm crazy for telling you that. But I assure you, you're a fucking retard and you know nothing of truth. And you don't have to like it when I tell you that. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. And it's true. If I don't make videos pointing out the obvious, you're you're as good as dead. You're going to just waste away and get old. Hell fuck no. I'm going to bring forth heaven on earth. Okay? And you don't have to like it. But heaven's coming to earth. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. And uh, I'm going to scream it out from the top of my lungs where everybody's going to get everlasting life. But, and I'm telling you, it's going to take 2.7 more years and I'll wake up enough people to get us all eternal life. It's just that simple. I can see the future because I wrote it myself with my own blood and I published it to the ethernet for the entire universe to see. And it turns out you live in the fucking matrix for real. What's up y'all? So we back with some more creepy celebrity conspiracy theories. And these two obviously involve Post Malone and the Kardashian girls and curses. So let's get into it. 
All right, so the first curse we're gonna talk about is the Kardashian curse. So back in the 1800s, the Kardashians had an ancestor named Kikil, and she was a 19-year-old mother who was abused as a child, so she ended up running away because a bunch of bad shit was happening to her in her life up until this point. So like I said, she runs away and she allegedly seeks refuge in this village named Shikaho. <laughs> Y'all, I swear that's what that village is, okay? That village in Armenia is known for like witches and shit, right? So Kikil ends up connecting with four of the witches in that village and she tells them that she doesn't want any of her future generations to go through what she went through as a child. So she wants them to have beauty, fame, and fortune. And the witches granted that, but allegedly the catch was that they would never find true love and they would always have bad luck when it comes to relationships and any man who they dealt with would end up going downhill after they were done with him. Because to give to them, it has to be taken from somewhere, allegedly. Fast forward to now, the Kardashian curse is allegedly still going strong from how things have turned out for a lot of the guys they've been in relationships with. All right, so the Post Malone curse conspiracy theory isn't really a conspiracy theory because he confirmed it, so he was on the show Ghost Hunters with his friend Zach and they spent the night in Zach's museum in Vegas, which is like a supernatural type museum, kind of like the Conjuring people have in their house. So anyway, Zach touched a dibbit box, which was like a box that contained like evil spirits or whatever. While he was touching the box, Post Malone touched his shoulder. So as soon as he touched the box, they both seen like this black figure show up in the room and they ran out. So then after that, Post Malone had a series of unfortunate events happen to him. So he was in the shower and he seen random bite marks on his arm. Then while he was on his private jet, two of the wheels blew out. Following that, he ended up getting into a car accident and one of his homes got broken into. It's, it's, it's weird because after we opened up this creepy, creepy Dybbuk box, I got in a car accident. I got in like almost had a plane wreck. My house got broken into all that type of stuff. But it was just within a month's time. It was really, really odd stuff. 